Hello, I'm Dr. Patrick O'Shaughnessy, Catholic Health Services of Long Island's Executive Vice President and System Chief Medical Officer. Welcome to Dr. O's Health Tips and Solutions. My goal is to bring you information that will help you live a healthier life. Today, we will discuss how to know when it's normal aging or something more serious. With so many experts out there, it's hard to know what is factual and what is not. I'd therefore like to share with you truth in medicine. With no spin, no marketing, just the simple unvarnished truth, as well as some trusted sites for information you can reference from home. I hope you'll find this information beneficial, and as always, I wish you a healthier, happier life. Today, we will be discussing the difference between memory loss, dementia, and Alzheimer's disease. As with all of my tips, I'd like to offer one great source of truth, and this one is from the Alzheimer's Association. Their website can be found at www.alz.org. There, you will find material outlining changes in aging, memory, various forms of dementia, as well as the 10 signs of Alzheimer's disease. While we maintain our intelligence as we age, we begin to slow down slightly in mind and body. Changes in memory can occur too. The question is when is it normal memory loss due to aging or something more serious? And I get asked this one all the time. If you have slight trouble recalling names and places, that's okay. If, however, you experience significant changes to your memory, communication, or language skills, or are unable to concentrate or reason, then you should consult a medical professional. Change can be subtle and slow to evolve, and there are a variety of forms of decline in memory or skills that could affect your ability to perform daily activities. From mild cognitive impairment, which is called MCI, to Alzheimer's, the causes and symptoms can vary wildly. MCI, for example, relates to problems with memory or core brain function. Issues that arise from MCI may not be noticeable to others, nor will they affect everyday activities. Dementia, on the other hand, is not a disease, but rather a term that encompasses a range of symptoms caused by a variety of brain disorders. Symptoms can include a loss of recent memory, inability to write, speak, or understand the written word. Visuospatial function, which is the ability to understand and use symbols or perceive correctly where objects are, as well as the executive function involving the ability to plan, reason, solve, and focus on tasks. Vascular dementia occurs after a stroke. Thyroid problems and vitamin deficiencies can also cause dementia. Another condition, Alzheimer's disease, accounts for the majority, and that's between 60 to 80% of all dementia cases. And while it can affect people between the ages of 30 and 50, it is most common in people over age 65. Alzheimer's is a slow, progressive disease that destroys memory and other vital mental function. The Alzheimer's Association website outlines signs of the disease. Indications range from memory loss that impacts daily living to difficulty completing familiar tasks. Those with the disease misplace things and may be unable to retrace their steps to find them. They could also have trouble speaking or writing. Mood and personality changes could occur and they may withdraw from work or social activities. So how do we know what is normal and what might be the onset of the disease? Here are a few examples from the Alzheimer's Association. While missing a monthly payment is not unusual, the sudden inability to manage a budget may be a sign of dementia or Alzheimer's. This would be true, too, of temporarily forgetting what day it is versus the more serious losing track of the season. As we age, we might sometimes forget which word to use, but if we have difficulty having a conversation, that may be indicative of a more severe issue. Since most dementia slowly develops, if you or someone you love begins regularly experiencing memory issues or changes in thinking and processing, see a physician to determine the cause. It may be a treatable condition. 
While there is no cure for Alzheimer's and some forms of dementia, early diagnosis offers the best chance of benefiting from possible treatment. You can find all of these tips and more at the Alzheimer's Association website, again, at www.alz.org. That's my tip for today. For more health information, watch CHS Presents Health Connect, airing on Catholic Faith Network and CBS TV 55. To view recent episodes, go to CHS's YouTube channel.